Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Tikiti and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing monthly readings for October 2019 and this is for Cancer. That can apply to Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or if you just felt called to click on this video, then there's probably some messages here for you. But keep in mind that this is a general reading for lots and lots of people. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest here. Okay, so Cancer, let's see what wants to come through for you. Hope you guys are doing well. I know, okay, that's the second time I've seen this in the shuffling. I pre-shuffled before I came on camera as well and this I saw. So, Cancers, what's going on? Are you going through some emotional heartbreak or some emotional healing right now? I know that I sure am. Um, death card as well. So there's been a lot of endings lately in September especially. There was a lot of things that were coming up to be healed as Saturn went direct. So lots of childhood stuff or past life trauma was coming up to be felt and to be healed. But October is the month for us to be able to, to move forward. So let's see what comes up for you guys. Cancer, your current self is coming up as the Seven of Cups. The theme of the month is the star. The key goal is the Wheel of Fortune. The obstacle to overcome is the King of Wands. The major accomplishment is Temperance. What to avoid is the Eight of Pentacles. Where, oh sorry, what to embrace, we have the Four of Wands. Where to find support, the Devil. And advice and encouragement is the Lovers. Okay interesting. So Cancers. Seven of Cups is your current self. So this can be an energy of being a little bit confused, um, emotionally having some options on the table, not knowing what is right for you. So there may be a little bit of a lack of clarity as to which direction you should go or what you should pick, especially if you're feeling a lot of different things at the same time. But the theme of the month is the star. This is my favorite card in the deck. And this is very much about enlightenment, emotional healing, and internal guidance. So this is giving you the awareness, the healing, and the direction that you need to be able to choose what it is that you need. And this reading, those two cards, um, I believe they both came up in the Taurus reading as well. Every, all the rest of the cards are different, but these two cards came up in Taurus. So if you have Taurus in your chart, maybe it's your rising or your, or your moon sign, um, then I would check that reading out as well, as there may be some additional messages there for you. So the key goal this month is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the turning of the wheel. This is the cycles um, of karma, of abundance, of just life in general. It's the circle of life. Everything comes full circle and everything works in cycles. Just as we've moved from summer into fall, it's the transition on the, the wheel of the seasons. It's the same thing with the wheel of fortune. So sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. But the Wheel of Fortune will continue to turn. So no matter what point you're in, there's always room for change. That's really what the Wheel of Fortune is about. It's about change. And it's about being okay with change. So the key goal this month is to embrace the changes, to embrace the cycles, to be aware of the cycles, and to use them to your benefit, especially as it relates to um, the movement of the planets because they're drawing my attention to the two planets that are there and the zodiac wheel that's on the actual wheel of fortune. So this can be about maybe getting an astrology reading done for yourself, getting your natal chart done. Cafe Astrology is a good place for that, cafeastrology.com. It's free. Um, it's not super, super in-depth, but it gives you sort of the basics that you need to be able to figure it out for yourself. Um, or you can go and get a, a natal chart done by um, an astrologer. I unfortunately um, am not an astrologer, but I'm, I know that there are tons of really fantastic ones out there on YouTube especially, so you can definitely reach out and get readings for yourself that will really help you, give you some clarity and some direction perhaps, you know, give you some, some enlightenment around what's going on in your life and why, and as it was written in the stars. So the obstacle to overcome is the King of Wands. So this can be 
if it's in an obstacle position, this can be a fear of putting yourself out there, a fear of being a leader, a fear of, you know, taking action. This, this can be an obstacle to you. It can feel overwhelming or it can feel uncomfortable but nothing ever got done in the comfort zone. So it's important to overcome these obstacles because that's how you grow. The obstacles are put there to help you to evolve, to help you to grow, to help you to get stronger. So when we face our fears or when we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, that's when we're successful. Because even if you fail, you're still successful because you tried, you did it. You know what I mean? And you'll try again. And you'll try again until you get it right, until you become the king of wands rather than just the page of wands or the knight of wands. This is, this is the top dog when it comes to wands. So you do have the potential to get there. It just may seem like a bit of an obstacle right now. This can also be about tuning into your creativity and expressing yourself in a creative and, and or spiritual way. And again, they're showing me, um, okay, one, two, three, four of these cards have what appears to be Mercury in them. So I would advise you guys to go and look at your natal chart and find what sign is in Mercury and then look up what that means for you. Or look at what Mercury is doing right now and look at the cycles that happened for you in your life, if you can, do some research. You know, it's good to know these things. What happened for you every time that Mercury went retrograde? What happened for you every time Mercury went direct? What are we in right now? I don't actually know because I haven't checked it in a while, but I'm advising you guys to go look that up because I've seen Mercury here one, two, three, four times. So that's important. Um, next up, we have the major accomplishment, which is temperance. So this is awesome. Temperance is um, very similar to this star energy. As you can see in the cards, they're both pouring water. But where the, the star card is pouring the water back into the water, the temperance card is pouring the cups, pouring it from the cups back and forth. And she's balancing the water with the fire. And as you can see here, they've got that there as well. So the temperance card is helping you to find clarity in some of the confusion that is going on. Temperance is also about trial and error. It's like being a scientist. You have to change one variable at a time to really know what the results of that one thing are. If you try to change a whole bunch of things at once, then it's overwhelming and you get confused because you don't know what the results are pertaining to. So the temperance card gives you the opportunity to have patience with the process of trial and error. And that's really what the, the King of Wands was kind of talking about too. It's, it's the obstacle. It's pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone to learn new things, to try new things, to express yourself in new ways. And that does take trial and error to get it right. Oops, I put that in the wrong one. There we go. Um, so what to avoid is the eight of pentacles. So this is getting too focused on one thing to the exclusion of all else. So the eight of pentacles, did I say wands? Anyway, the eight of pentacles is in this particular card, like he's looking down, he's focusing so hard on this one, that all of these are just kind of going to waste. And this little mouse over here is trying to alert him to the fact that it's not all about just this one, it's about taking everything into account so that you can understand it on a bigger level. And again, we have an eight, which is about karma. So you've got seven and an eight, yeah, so th this is about moving forward on your spiritual journey to address this karma because I see, I see the Wheel of Fortune as karma as well. And karma is not good or bad. It's just cause and effect. It's just the result of choices that were made. So if you're looking to try and understand the result, then you first have to look at what the action was that was taken. That's important to understanding the bigger picture of the results, right? So it's the same thing with that trial and error. It's the same thing with the variable. If you changed something and now you have a result, reverse engineer it. What did you change? What is the result? Put them together to understand the problem. So next up we have the four of wands and this is what to embrace this month. So this is really about stability. 
and support. It's very much um, a transformative type of energy that I'm getting from this card and I don't normally associate the Four of Wands with transformation, but I'm seeing that because they're drawing my attention to the dragonfly. And the dragonfly is balanced because it is born in the water, it walks on the land, and it flies in the air. So it's got these three elements and dragon which I'm just realizing now dragons are associated with fire so it's got all the balanced elements within it and that is what creates that stability one two three four if you're missing one then this this thing's going to fall over right so you need to have the four to have that kind of stability and to know that that you're protected that you're safe and that you're connected to all things so now on that note, I want to talk about, again, we have the four elements here in the devil card. So the pentagram, the pentagram here, it represents earth, air, fire, water, and ether, which is spirit. Spirit being at the top. Actually, if this was an actual devil card, it should be reversed because the when you have the peak on the, the, the topmost peak on the bottom, this represents spirit being subservient to the physical elements. Um, whereas in the upright, it represents spirit being you, you know, being connected with the other four elements, but not being subservient to them. So um, that's an interesting interpretation that they've chosen to portray this devil card as that. But I think what this really represents here is not being able to see the connections between these things. So this is this is what is supporting you, which is interesting because the devil card doesn't nat naturally we don't associate with that with the supportive energy, but it is where to find support in the month of October. So tapping into your inner fire is going to be beneficial as we did have the King of Wands here as well as the Temperance card and they're drawing my attention to the Cups of Fire. So that can be about transformation, transmutation, burning away the old things, um, really stepping into the fires as cleansing. So this can help to cleanse you and to unite these different aspects of who you are. Mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, earth, air, fire, water. And then you've got your soul, which encompasses all of them, your spirit. So step into the fires with no fear and see things through your heart rather than through your, your eyes or your mind. That's what I'm getting from the devil this time. And the advice and encouragement from spirit is the lovers. So this is, again, about a choice that you have to make and the choices you've made in the past. The lovers are not always representative of, you know, physical relationships. It does represent a choice. Now, if this is related to relationships, this can be about finding joy in connection, in communion, in, in play as well, because they're showing me the dolphins in the background here, kind of jumping around and having fun. So human connection is really important and it can help us to feel fulfilled. So if you've been focusing too much on other things, again, this is about balance. The Temperance card and the Star card, they have the two drugs for a reason. It's about balance. The Four of Wands, there's four uh, beams holding up the wreath above. So it's about balance. Balance and stability within the changing of the cycles and within the decisions that you make. So again, there's Mercury at the top here. So I would advise looking up Mercury. And let me see if I get anything else from this lover's card. Mm. The advice and encouragement. Tune into the energy of the stars. They're showing me that um, this energy is coming down into their hearts. So opening up your heart to the energy of the stars and the planets. I mean, you're here, you're watching a horoscope video. So this is about astrology. This is about the movement of the planets, the cycles of our solar system that influence us energetically. This is exactly what you're here for. But go a bit deeper and really open up to this energy of the stars and absorb that in through your heart chakra because it can help to give you clarity, understanding, and love. You know, the inner love that you need to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want on the outside. If that is outer love, then, then you can work with that. If not, then you can create whatever it is that you want. 
but it has to come from a place of love. And the stars can help to give you some context in, in understanding yourself and others on a deeper level. All right, guys, that is your reading for the month of October, Cancer. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, just take what resonates and leave the rest, as this is a general reading. But if you would like a more personal reading for yourself, something that more directly applies to you and what you're going through, then please reach out to me for a reading. I have lots of different options for tarot readings. Or if you want to get even deeper, then I have Reiki healing sessions. I am certified in advanced holographic Yusui Reiki, where I see into the energy field of your aura. Uh, sometimes it's past life stuff that comes up, especially if it's something karmic. It can be past life or stuff from your childhood, um, soul origins, connection to certain energies, people, places, or archetypes as well. And lots of other stuff has been coming up lately too, psychic surgery and implants and whatnot. So Lots of stuff to delve into there if you're open to it. All of the information will be in the description box below with my services, offerings, and pricing. Just email me at siomcg41 at outlook.com with the type of reading or um, service that you are looking for. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck in October and moving forward. I know that you guys can do this. You have a lot of really, really positive cards here, so... And even the negative ones are working in your favor. So, you know, you can, you can find your way with all of these different assets and tools. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next month. Bye.